Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively and the I'm going to show you completed pictures and some of my whips and a diamond painting that's a whip also in this segment. <clears throat> I have been busy and I just counted the books that I worked in this month and it was 10. But uh, let's start with our color alongs. We use this book, Country Autumn, by the Coloring Book Cafe. And I did this one. I got smart this time because I can't remember everything. I wrote down, <clears throat> excuse me, what mediums I used on this picture. On the Scarecrow, I used Arteza watercolor pencils and then colored pencils for shading. Mung Yo Pastel, Soft Pastel for the Sky, the Pumpkins, and a few other than the uh, Scarecrow. So we did a base coat of pastels, and we used pencils for shading. So that was, um, I'm, I'm happy the way it turned out, except for my pig. I had made him pink like it shows here on the cover, and I thought it was too bright, and I tried to shade it and I didn't like it so I went and detailed it with brown and now he looks like a dirty pig and I'm not real happy with him but otherwise the picture came out fine and the autumn leaves did also okay let me move on <clears throat> thank you dear my husband just brought me a glass of water it <clears throat> seems I never have trouble with my voice till I have a, get on camera <clears throat> okay, um, here we go again, Autumn Scenes, and it's by Teresa Goodridge, and I did three in this book. Um, one, we worked on this one together, this was a color along, um, and we I used um, Crayola colored pencils, Bic alcohol markers and Staedtler water-based markers. So I used uh, the alcohol markers on the field and everything else was water-based and pastels in the sky. Okay, the last one we did as a color along was the pumpkin man. And here's how he came out. Um, I have um, I use Staedtler one millimeter water-based markers. I use Prismacolor and Polychromos colored pencils, Mozart water paint set, Prismacolor uh, new pastels and Pebbles chalk pastels, a Sharpie white paint pen, and a glitter pen on his hat. So this is the way the Pumpkin Man came out. So I'm really happy with these two more than the other one. But anyway, that's what we did. The next one I did this month was, the book I worked in was Mandela's Color by Number. And I'll show you what I did here. Um, on this one, I used Staedtler double-ended water-based markers. This was my first marker attempt. And uh, my paper didn't buckle. And I didn't get a hole in it. didn't come through very much either. So this was uh, with fine liners. That came out really good. This was also with the Staedtler water-based fine liners. And it was my second one that I did, the dragonflies. And these were the color by number from George, oh, Shayla Kerrigan uh, from Creative Haven. Color by number mandalas. And then on this one, I used the Tri Plus 1 millimeter Staedtler um, <clears throat> water base markers. And on this one was the same thing. And this is color by number, the Staedtler double ended markers. On this one, I believe. This is with Blick Studio colored pencil. I used colored pencil on this mandala. And on this one, I used. Um, I thought the same thing. Yeah, the Blick. No, I used Crayola pencils on this. The whole thing was done in Crayola pencils. And as you can see, it came out pretty good. Okay, those are the mandalas that I did from this book, Color by Number by Shayla Kerrigan. 
Okay, let me get another book out that I worked in. This is um, Tessellation Patterns. Um, there are rectangles and different shapes that qualify as tessellation. So he, I did two in here. This one I did, it's a pattern. And as you can see, I have some of the folk art extreme glitter on just certain spots of it. And if you uh, can look really close, I have the, I don't know if you can see, I do small dots. These are the white paint pen from Sharpie. And this one was done the same way. And uh, I used the one millimeter water-based markers and they came out. This one, the markers did go through. And this one, it was, oh, sorry, this one was alcohol markers. You can see the difference there. No, that can't be. I didn't use alcohol markers. Well, I did. It looks like I did. Okay, made a boo-boo there. Alcohol markers, and this is with the water-based markers. And this one, I put a lot more glitter on it. And that's how my tessellation pattern book came out. Okay, then I worked in Good Vibrations by John Wick. <clears throat> and I will read what I have here. I used the Staedtler um, Neon high, um, fine, li fine Liners. Yeah, but they're neon. And then I wound up finding a whole bunch of neon highlighters in my office, in my file cabinet that's been there for years from um, Sharpie and from Avery. So uh, Avery had the purple color, and I put a lot of the folk art glitter paint on there also, and the Sharpie paint pen with dots, and I sort of decorated the pattern. So I really enjoyed working. I, I just saw all the highlighters and thought I'd give them a try together. And I think, it, I think it turned out good, especially on that black background. Then I worked in another book that I've had for a long time. It's an oldie. Okay. I did some mandalas, and I used this book. Now, this is not Creative Haven, and I have a rubber band because I took it apart, and all these pages will fall out. It's from Dover, and if you see Dover, then you know each page in here is double-sided. So in order to work on them, I made copies, and that's why I took it apart. Here again, I used the Avery and Sharpie. Neon Office Highlighters on this one. And I just think that came out really pretty. Never thought about that. On this one, I used Crayola Super Tips for the whole thing. Crayola Super Tips. On this one, um, I used... Staedtler water-based markers, one millimeter. I use the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint and Sharpie, uh, also the Sharpie Paint Pen. Uh, I, that works for me better than Posca. Poscas just get clogged up and it's a waste of my money. So, let's move on. Okay, this one I did with Studio 71. It's a skin tone set of, I don't know, six or eight markers. Six, I think. So I just decided those are such pretty skin tones. Let's see what happens if I put it in a mandala. So I did that. And then I used the Blick Alcohol Studio Alcohol Markers on this one. So these were straight coloring, basically. Okay, that's Mystical coloring book, Man Mystical Mandala by Alberta Hutchinson. Okay. Then I worked in this book by C.L. Aldridge. I worked in this book quite a bit. Um, let me move my notes here. I did seven in this book. And um, if you've watched my technique video, you've seen this one before. It's with Bic and Sharpie alcohol markers. You can see the back. And I use the Sparkle Pop by Pentel 
for the sparkle here on the pattern. And I made a homemade stencil out of junk mail to get the lightning bolts or whatever you want to call them. So I did that one in this book. The other one I did here is with Crayola twistable colored, they call them colored pencils. They're more like a crayon. And I use glitter gel pen uh, on this one too. I think you can see it's um, shiny. Okay. The next one I did is with pastels, Mung Yo Soft Pastels in the background, and as you can see, I made it look like a sunburst, okay, or a glow coming out of the mandala, and it's done with Staedtler water-based fine liners and glitter gel pen and polychromos colored pencils. Okay, let's move on. This one is uh, one that prompted a video on technique. I used Crayola crayon here, and with uh, odorless mineral spirits, it turned out to look like paint. And there's no residue on the back or anything. The rest of it's done with Staedtler fine liners and sparkle pop from Pentel. So we'll have a video soon on how to use these water-based markers on Amazon paper without it being buckled, or we, 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 don't, we won't get a hole in it either. Okay, here's the next one I did in this book. It's by, uh, use my Deli watercolor pencils. I use some glitter gel pens and Bic alcohol markers on the flowers. And I might have used Sharpie. No, I just used Bic on the flowers. So I did that one and I put that uh, gel pen there to give it some shine. This one I did out of this book and this was just a simple one with fine liners by Staedtler, your water-based marker, and some gel pen here that's gold. I think you can see it sparkle. That's about it. Uh, one more. And I use Koh-Inor Tritone Pencils on the um, straw here. So I don't think that shows up on camera, but it is multicolored. It's tritone, and as you color with them, it automatically shades and gives you other colors. So I thought that needed to be on that straw. And then I use Polychromos for the pencil, and I used... A glitter gel pen on that. So that's how that one turned out. Okay, let's look at these here. I'm trying to bring them down as I can. I have a small desk, so you can't see my big stack all at once. The Derwent Pastel Pencils. I put these on here and I used them like paint. I um, colored them on and then I took a, a soft clay um, it's for clay, uh, making designs in clay. It's it's just a soft silicon uh, small tool. And I rubbed it in. You could use a paper stump and rub it in too. And then I went with a water brush over that. And this was out of this book, The Best of Color It. It's an empty book now because everything here has been done and it's in my, well, not all of it's been done. There's some that weren't. Um, but most of it's been done, and then they're the ones I like are in my portfolio. But I wanted to show you this because I took it out of this cover. The other thing I did from this book was pastel sparkle pop gel pens. And that whole thing is sparkle pop gel pen. Okay, so that's the color it book. And then we're having the cats color by number by George Tufexis. And in this book, I have done this one, Staedtler Double-Ended Water-Based Markers for the whole thing. This was my second attempt at using water-based markers. I did get them to 
go through, but they did not make a hole in my paper whatsoever, and uh, the colors are pretty vivid. This is a whip from the same book, um, and I'm using polychromos on this. I, I don't have it finished, obviously, so I want to work on this um, this coming month. And not, uh, last but not least in the coloring is this book, Desipaint, Photographic Color by Number by Laura McMillan. And I was real excited about this book. Um, I won't give you a flip through. It's sort of hard to see what, <clears throat> excuse me, any of the images are. And it's very light. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of my water. Okay, and it's very light gray, which is fine to be printed like that. There's some, of course, that you can recognize that this is a landscape. But this book, I was expecting more from. Um, it just isn't my to my liking the type of art that's in it. And maybe, to be fair, I should have done more than one picture, but I thought after one picture, that was enough for me. And this is the picture. I chose this bicycle. I used Crayola pencils. I went exactly by the directions of the artist and used the Crayola colored pencils. And she's got strange way of drawing. Um, a lot of white spaces here. And you couldn't use fine liners on this because there's some real tiny hair-like, almost even with my colored pencil sharpened to a very sharp point, I could barely do the, do some of the areas but you might like this there might be someone out there that likes this type of art if so this might be the book for you there's a series of these books but um i bought one to try it out and i'm glad that i did because um, for now i'm going to put it on my bookshelf and maybe at a later date go back to it and try another one but for now, I want to spend my time coloring some other things. Which brings me to my last thing that I worked on this month, and that was my diamond painting by Victoria's Moon. <clears throat> and this is what I'm working on. The elephant here. Now that looks like it's all black and gray, but these are all colors in here scattered. And, of course, there's gray here, and this is all dark navy blue. And as I keep doing this, I find uh, there are more colors than you can possibly see. Now, the last time I showed you my progress, I had just this top portion done. I still have a few in here to do, but I'm almost, well, I have another small portion to do here. So I'm about two-thirds of the way through this and I will be finishing that this coming month and keep this parchment on there so my stickiness doesn't get disturbed. So that's it for today. This was the video of things that I have accomplished during the month and uh, don't forget um, I will be making a video pictures colored by you so if you're a subscriber and you have followed along and colored anything autumn or fall this year, and you'd like to submit it to me, I will put it in my video at, at the beginning of the next month. It'll be at the end of this month, the beginning of next month. So I just wanted to thank you for stopping by um, and watching my video. And until we meet again, happy coloring and happy diamond painting.